Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the uh, 29th, 28th. Doesn't matter, timing is fluid. So, 29th, yeah, keep that in mind. So, what do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? Queen of Swords reversed. Three of Cups. Oh, we got two. Four of Wands and the Moon reversed. So we have a reality check here. Three of Swords on the bottom. Three of Swords is, is uh, suffering of some sort. It's heartache, it's grief. Um, pain, Queen of Swords reversed is uh, not really open to communication, maybe cold, cold, hard, bitchy, bitter, chooses to be alone. We may have somebody here that is choosing to be alone. They may get an offer or an invite and they just don't want to do it. Three of Cups. Three of Cups right next to the Queen of Swords reverse. That is like a get together, socializing, going out. In this deck, it's like, I don't know, it could be a day, drinks, you know, having fun, getting together with friends or somebody else socializing having fun but this queen of swords reversed is kind of closed off four of wands is the next card which is also a get together so somebody wants to get together they may want to get together they want to go somewhere they, they somebody could get invited to a you know i don't know maybe it's a picnic could be a bonfire could be camping could be out to dinner could be out for drinks it feels like we have some sort of invite here but we have the moon reversed, which is uh, a reality check. It is a reality check. It's real. It's uh, not hidden. Something not being hidden, seeing very clearly. There's, there's some sort of pain that is holding somebody back by the looks of things. Three of Cups and Four of Cups can be some sort of reunion, party, festival. You know, get together. Commitment. The moon reverse, though, is some sort of clarity. Something, something, seeing something clearly, which is interesting. Queen of Cups reverse. We definitely have somebody here. And the Three of Swords is on the bottom again. I just shuffled. There's some sort of heartache here. There's some suffering. There's pain. There's heart pain. There's grieving. There's uh, some sort of heartache. Queen of Cups reversed. Emotionally unavailable. Not interested with the Queen of Swords reverse. We have somebody here that's not interested. Or they're just... You know, not in the state of mind or they're not in the mood or something like that. Queen of Cups reverse. That's lack of emotion. Not, not, and not interested with the Queen of Swords reverse. That's a lack of interest. We have somebody here that's really not interested. It feels like they're going to get an offer or an invite and they really don't want to go. Queen of Cups reverse. There could be some sadness here. There could be some tears. There's going definitely to be an upcoming get-together. I feel like somebody is going to receive some news that is going to hurt them. You know, this is hurt. We've had it twice. I shuffled. There's hurt. There's pain. There is some pain. Somebody's about to get a reality check. They may have thought. The Queen of Swords is all about thought. 
They may have thought they were going to get a relationship or they thought they were going to get a commitment or they thought they were going to get a reunion or something like that. They may get some sort of reality check. Maybe the other person is getting the invite. Somebody may get some news of a marriage or... I don't know, maybe the third party has one. The Three of Cups can represent three third parties. There's definitely two choices here. There is because of the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups. That's two different people. Could be one person as well, but I feel like we definitely have a third party. Three's a crowd, you know. There's, there's um, some sort of reality that is coming. Somebody's about to get a reality check. Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We also have uh, we have Pisces a couple times, but we also have uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have somebody here that doesn't really want to be in a commitment. They don't really want to be in a commitment. They don't want to. They'd rather have fun, you know, and explore and all that. I feel like there's some sort of truth that is about to be revealed. Maybe it's about a third party, about another option, another choice. Somebody could be going out and they see something very, very clearly that whoever they're going out with, maybe they go out for drinks, they go out to dinner or something, and they see that somebody's not, they could see somebody flirting. You know, they see something is, something is going to be revealed, you know, that isn't going to make somebody happy. This hurts. It hurts. I feel like we have an unrequited love situation here. I just got to be honest. I just saw the page of cups reversed. So there's there's some sort of bubble burst. Absolutely sad news maybe. If it's not going out, somebody may receive some sad news that really hurts them. I'm just, I'm just being honest with you. There's definitely a, a lack of um, logic. Somebody's not being logical. Maybe they don't believe, they're not being wise, so they don't understand, or they're not listening to their intuition, or something like that. There is going to be an, there could be a news of an engagement, or a marriage, or something like that, that doesn't make somebody happy. There's definitely some news that is coming that is a reality check on this day. Somebody's about to get a reality check. Could have something to do with a, a stepmother or a wicked, wicked witch or somebody that is really, really nasty that likes to hurt people for some reason. Uh, vindictive, revengeful. There could be somebody that is saying something to hurt somebody on purpose. Nine of Wands reversed on the bottom. Expect a challenge. We have somebody here that is sitting on a high horse. They're they're very um, they're refusing to budge. This is somebody that I don't know. I feel like we got somebody here that likes to fight. Or refuses to give up their weight. I feel like we have somebody here that is waiting for a chance with somebody that they're not being logical with. They need to give up. I hate to say that, but expect a challenge because I do believe there's, oh, I gotta show you what's on the bottom. Expect a challenge, there is gonna be one. We have somebody here that is refusing to compromise. Um, they haven't learned their lesson with the Nine of Wands reversed. I gotta turn my phone over, I'm sorry. Um, there's This is a massive disruption, a massive, uh, rude awakening somebody's about to get a rude awakening things are gonna this is some sort of explosion somebody could explode this is light being shed and i do see light being shed with the moon reversed as well um this is a major disruption um something is going to explode and crash comes out of nowhere something is going to happen there could there could be a fight that comes out of nowhere
this is a necessary evil when the universe comes in the universe comes in to force somebody to uh, face the music so somebody's going to be facing some sort of reality check there's definitely a reality check here this is a tower moment this is this is huge you need to uh move you need to make a move this isn't this isn't real it's not stable it's not solid it's not a good place it shouldn't have been built like this um beware because there's some stormy weather ahead Nine of Swords reverse. We have somebody here that is giving deep thought to a relationship. They are stressed out. They are not happy. They're having a hard time sleeping at night. I also feel like we have somebody here that is going to be stressed out. They're going to be like, oh my God, I can't believe this has happened. This is this with the Tower reverse. There's a foundation that is crumbling. It's crumbling really, really, really fast. It's it comes out of nowhere. And somebody is going to be extremely, uh, I feel like overwhelmed with some sort of massive change that comes out of nowhere. There's going to be an upcoming celebration because maybe it's, it's celebrating freedom. I don't know. Because the tower does bring freedom. It does. You're forced to start over from scratch. You're forced to. There's there's no other way. You can't you can't live there. You can't be there anymore. You can't do that anymore. You have to. You have to you have to start over from scratch. There's no other way. It's when the universe forces a change because you have not been been logical. You haven't been wise. You haven't been able to step up to the challenge. You know, so I feel like there's something extreme when you get the tower card. There's something extreme that is going to happen. This is a huge reality check. And there's going to be, oh my God, oh my God, I can't believe this has happened. There you go. Serious regrets. The Wheel of Fortune reversed on the bottom now. That is a horrendous loss. This is going in the wrong direction. This is a horrendous loss of some sort. This isn't meant to be. We have somebody here that it has been repeating negative patterns. They have been going backwards. They have been refusing to go in a new direction. So the, so the tower is a universe card. That's when the tower comes in to force change. So there's going to be some universal force that is forcing somebody to see the truth of a situation. There's been, I feel like we have somebody here that has been emotionally dishonest with themselves as well. They may hear something from a friend or another person about somebody doing something um, unjust, put it that way. Could even be against the law with the Queen of Swords reversed. This is unjust. It's not fair. This isn't fair. Somebody is going to receive a reality check. It's not good news. I just got to be honest. They're going to be forced to face the music. They're going to force. This is force. It's universal force. Um, this is a bad, it's bad luck. It's being at, being at the wrong place or it's the wrong time or it's, it's not meant to be. This cycle has needed to end, but we have somebody here that has been false. Okay. The tower is falseness. Um, there's going to be an, some sort of major disruption anyhow, that is going to be a wake up call. It is a huge rude awakening. This is a rude awakening. We have somebody here that um, does not want to be in the commitment. They don't want to be in the commitment. They don't want to be there. They don't want to be there by the looks of things. They're not emotionally invested in it. And, and maybe the wake up call is seeing something. Could be seeing something on social media or seeing something when you're out to dinner with this person or hearing something from a friend, you know. Um, horrendous loss. Wheel of Fortune reversed.
strength is going to be needed by the end of the day. Strength uh, is going to be needed. Somebody is going to need to probably uh, heal from something. There's some sort of healing that is going to be needed. Uh, I feel like this strength card is about grace. It's about tact. It's about restraint. It's about uh, finding your strength to deal with whatever this situation is. Princess of Swords on the bottom. That is news that you don't want to hear. That is a message that you don't want to hear. Or news, it's not good news. Could have something to do with a child. Doesn't have to be. Um, but this is somebody that... likes to butt their nose in perhaps we may have somebody here that definitely likes to butt their nose in and they're causing problems this could be a troublemaker um, this could also be a stalker it could be a spy this is or somebody that is delivering some bad news uh, there is somebody here that is untrustworthy that uh, likes to cause problems put it that way um, there's also some news that is arriving it's not what you want to hear you're going to need to be strong you're gonna need to heal from this. This is this news hurts, whatever it is, it hurts. Oh my God, I can't believe this has happened. We could even have somebody that is out drinking, they're out drinking with friends, you know, and they somehow get in trouble. We have so many different stories here. We definitely have we have somebody that is finding their courage to uh, be honest and tell the truth. Somebody is going to be telling the truth about their intentions. They are, they are, and it hurts. It's going to hurt whoever it is that is in denial. There is somebody here that is in denial. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is about give and take. It's about generosity. Um, taking from one, giving to the other. There's some sort of balance that needs to happen. Going in a new direction. Oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. We have somebody here that is going to be receiving something and somebody else is going to be losing this is about rebalancing it is about rebalancing ace of cups reversed there's going to be some tears shed with the queen of cups reversed as well and even the queen of swords i feel like i feel like there's some sort of sadness that is there's some sad news this is emotions all over the place emotional shutdown heart shutdown there is some sort of there's some there could even be somebody here that has some heart problems we had that three of swords reversed twice i mean upright and then we had this reversed there's something to do with the heart here but however it resonates with you heartbreaking this is heartbreaking unfortunately it is oh my god We have somebody here that has probably received another offer that is better suited for them. That's what the Six of Pentacles is. They're rece they've received an offer that is more aligned with them. And maybe that's the reality check. There is some sort of reality check here. Definitely. There's been some sort of neglect. There's been some sort of ghosting or gaslighting or 
abandonment. Somebody was led down the wrong path. They, they were told that they were going to have a commitment or they believed it. Maybe they weren't being logical. They were, they were, somebody was lying or they were being lied to by another person. They're about to get a huge reality check. There's somebody else here. It feels like there's another person that is in the way. Whether it's, uh, this, I think it has to do with a relationship. I do. Um, but this could be something else. So this could even have to do with a job. It could have to do with a commitment to a job with that Six of Pentacles. It could be. Somebody has another offer. They're gonna they're taking another offer. They've been they've been lying to themselves, they've been restricting themselves, they've been confining themselves, they've been held back by fear, but now they're letting go of their fear and they're finding their strength to let go. And the courage, this is brave. This is very brave. And the Queen of Swords in reverse could be following the heart. They ha somebody hasn't been logical. You know, they haven't been logical. They've been, uh, they had their mind set. They had their mind, you know, because Queen of Swords is all about mind. They had their mind set on somebody. They weren't being logical. But now, you know, maybe they're, they're looking for love. They're looking for something more. It's seeing very clearly, seeing the truth. I just getting what I deserve. Somebody, because the Six of Pentacles is about getting what they deserve, getting what you deserve. Somebody is, is, has been restricting themselves, but now they're, now they are removing an, an obstacle. The obstacle of fear is being removed. They're finding their courage and their confidence to, uh, it's almost like get out of bed or get out of this stagnant situation, I, you know. This isn't love, Ace of Cups, Reverse. This is this is tears. It's sad. It's emotional shutdown. There's some sort of blockage here, emotional blockage. Um, there could be some tears shed because some news comes that's not what somebody wants to hear. Just I know I already said that, but it is what it is. Hermit. Hermit is reevaluation. It's going within. It's isolating. It's soul searching. It's uh, coming up with another plan, realizing goals. Somebody's going to be really thinking about their future, focusing on their future, re identifying themselves, going within, healing. They've been in a false sense of security. And it's all crumbling. It's time to rebuild, and I just got chills down both of my arms. So anyhow, getting what you deserve. There's also somebody here that is receiving an offer. Um, they are receiving an offer. This offer is real. It is real. And it's. I think it's from somebody new. I do. This is somebody that is highly awakened, that has isolated themselves that has become aware this person has grown stronger has has taken time to heal somebody may be also uh, getting together with a healer like giving giving something to a healer because we have the strength we have the hermit and the six of pentacles this is like that's like a healing energy this is also an awakening it's a jesus consciousness it's becoming aware somebody is definitely becoming aware of you know where they're going and they have been not logical pretending with that tower this is a massive change it is this is a reality check it's expressing the truth it's seeing the truth we have somebody here that uh has become enlightened in some way or they're going within to become enlightened this is they could this could even be retreating in healing you know somebody maybe they are given somebody has given deep thought to a relationship and this is could be a retreat somebody may be going to a retreat 
you know, or they're retreating. They're retreating to, to heal, to become stronger, you know. They're finding their strength and, you know, to retreat, you know, to re-identify and focus on their future rather than a relationship that isn't that is based on fantasy, that is based on illusion, that isn't stable, that where there's a lot of darkness, you know, whatever the case is, there's somebody's about to get a reality check, or they're going to be going down a new path. There could be moving home even with that four of wands. This is commitment as well. I think that we have a new commitment here. Somebody may be even committing themselves to rehab. I don't know where that comes from, but I wanted to say it a minute ago. You could have somebody here that drinks a lot that is going to rehab. Um, or have drugs. Of the moon could there's some sort of addiction here this could also be a commitment to better health this is a new commitment here could be a new commitment to self because the hermit is self anyhow uh going after what i deserve finding the courage the strength the the, the willpower as well to commit to a better future so anyway i do believe that there is going to be a massive change it's going to come out of nowhere um it's actually you know it may somebody it may not be good news but it is because it's a necessary evil the chat the tower is a necessary evil okay um, you're going to get something better from this reality check. Six of Pentacles right underneath the moon reverse. Something You're going to receive something better. So, so yeah. Uh, good luck.